Big bang bitch no one. 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 Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to get the best shakes on this planet. First you're gonna add your photo, scale it out so it can fit, and then pre-compose your photo. From there, it depends what transition, what was the last transition. So if it was a zoom in, then it's probably gonna zoom out. I'm kinda retarded. I don't really do transitions like that. I just do warps and then shakes and then like tunnels and 3Ds and stuff like that. So we're going to keyframe the 100, go all the way back and zoom in just by like a thousand, two thousand. I usually do a thousand if I do shakes like this. Then we're going to graph it. We're going to graph it all the way tight graph because the, the value, it, there's a lot of value on that what all right now that you got your scaling let's add the, the 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 twitch there's gonna be two twitches you're gonna put that mount to 128 and the speed to 35 and you're gonna enable blur and slide then to the end of the clip it's gonna be at zero like a normal like a normal shake then we go and graph it and uh it's tight graph tight graph um twitch number two is at 100 but at 70 speed and the end value is at like zero like a normal normal shake uh shake your booty <laughs> so far you got this looks kind of good looks pretty good now we're gonna add the s shake um, the S shake, the amplitude is at 5, the frequency is at 7, the phase is at 0, the Z disc is at 1, the Z disc doesn't matter, it's like a zoom in. The X rand amp is at 50, the X wave ramp is at uh, 40, and then the Y is at 70, and then the y, the y wave amp is at 80. At the end of the clip, it goes all the way like not too far but it goes far and the graph is is a is a tight graph little tight graph then you're gonna add your blow uh blow mo curves blur mo curves the first keyframe is gonna be uh negative 30 uh skip over skip over five uh keyframes and it's gonna be at 14.96 skip over five more keyframes and it's going to be at negative 6.96 skip six frames after that and uh put the uh keyframe at three then after you did the six keyframe you're done uh so far it looks like this it looks kind of bad but when i add when you add the rsmb and everything else it looks way better then you're gonna add your direction blur the direction is gonna be 105 in the blur link the blur link is gonna be at like around a hundred and just make it a like a kind of tight graph and i'm gonna put it all the way right here so it kind of makes like a little blur effect while it's shaking then we add the fov which i'm just gonna look up fov place it on there you're gonna keyframe the fov at 158 go at least like 21 frames and keyframe it at zero you don't have to do a graph for this one it's just like a FOB. And then that's pretty much it. You could add your turbulence. Turbulence is going to make it way cleaner, look way better. And just add your warp. Once you add your warp, it's going to look like this. And uh, that's pretty much it. You could um, add your, you could just pre-compose it, add your RSMB and add panning and it'll look perfect. Also, guys, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, I made a Discord server where you could guys just like get audios. You guys could get, you know, self roll, self promote your stuff, post memes, post your edits, and we'll like the whole server will give you feedback. The admins will give you feedback. Um, there's gonna be a tutorials. Um, there's gonna be just 
a lot of stuff okay we're, we're, we're gonna add a lot of stuff we're gonna add giveaways we're gonna add uh giveaway editing packs you know stuff like that and we'll do like um a stage where everybody just roasts each other because that's super funny shout out to jasper for helping me make the server bro we spent all night making that server and it just took a lot of time hope you guys enjoy i'll see you guys next time peace